Sorry, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to figure out what's what's going on here. Obviously, if the king were to die, we could a little bit easy have a, have a little bit of an easier time with this conversion process. I don't think uh, accepting their demands would convert us. I think it would just give us like a little bit more tolerance, which makes sense. All right, so when one of these colonies finishes, we're going to have a new colonial nation, which is good. Which means they'll be in charge for the developmental process, I would assume. Which is interesting, to say the least. There's a lot of things that could go a little bit iffy with that in terms of becoming an empire later in the game. Because obviously you'd want the development under your control. But eh. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yay! More Protestant pro uh, more Protestant conversions. Alright, so these are the cheapest prints. So we're going to go more for these. Uh, more base tax. More trade value. More military. Yay. Yeah, I'm really like it, like I'm probably like doing too much development, but I feel like I should be like the patches just came out. I want to kind of look at it. So, oh god, <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Oh yeah, we probably should start saving up admin points because you know, I'm Berlin. You've had enough now. I, I enjoy. I've enjoyed your your company for as long as you've been here, but. It's time for you to peace out, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's not actually mercenaries, or that's uh, right, it's not actually reinforcements that are actually getting our our goose when it comes to military costs. It's just the fact we have so many freaking troops. Most of which are probably over here. 810821. Okay, so I'm going to send a cav and a and an artillery over to the colonies. Like the reason why I'm gonna I'm sending these things as well is not just that. What the hell? Oh, oh it's mothballed. The reason why I'm sending these things is not just because of the protection thing, because I know some of you are like, "Oh, isn't that a bit of overkill?" Yeah, yeah, it is. But another reason why I'm sending these guys is because we're gonna eventually be at war over there, and it's good to start sending troops now. Like war with locals, war with other nations that are colonizing, stuff like that. Castile, you're on a war path. Fort Richmond. Is that like a name of a city? Really? Interesting. More and more we colonize North America. Good. Good. <laughs> they don't know we're coming yet. Alright, now that we got a little bit more money, although I'm hesitant to call that any significant war chest by any means, I shall start building more ga caravels, I guess. Holy shit, that's a... Yeah, anywhere outside of our little ship dock area, it's very expensive to build ships. But, that's a, well, not expensive, but time-consuming. But we just got built a shit ton of ships for... for 14, so that's going to be 51 in total after they're all finished construction, which is good. It's a good number. Solid. Should probably build a ship dock elsewhere for mothball purposes because, as you can see, like I just I like it, uh, those those seven right there are getting in the way of organization. So I probably will once we have a bit more money, once we start f getting flooded into the monies. Where do monarch part monarch points come from? That's a question. How do you increase your input? I know from advisors, but. It really is. It's advisors and national focus. That's really it. And your king, obviously. And we'll actually be better off next time. Next time the king passes. Tragically. Have Sweden got an heir, by the way? I hope not. That would be... Ah, they do. Gustav Adolf Lancaster. Okay, that makes total sense. 
We've got Von Habsburg and Dievis. And nobody else we've married so far, so that makes sense. We have not got an alliance with one of our friends, which is interesting. Is it Portugal? It is. Portugal aren't really happy with this right now. Okay, though. Alright, so we can now name this new colonial nation. Newfoundland sounds like a, a dandy old name to me. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, then. Newfoundland will pay us taxes. If they are big enough, they will give us a merchant. They will also, if we wish, embargo our rivals. Which is fun. Ooh, we got a couple of cool little things. Oh, that's always been there, the tariff thing. We can replace the governor. Huh? Okay. We can embargo rivals. We can start a colonial war. They have no Cassius Belli against a country without a truce. Interesting. We can replace local rulers. Or oh, placate local ruler. And customize subject. Aha! That is cool. We can change the name at any time. That's good, because you used to make, like, Spanish... Spanish Brazil, and then change your... Sorry. You used to make, like, Castilian Brazil, and change it to... Uh, change it to, like... And, and you couldn't change it to Spanish when you changed. That's interesting. Okay. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that eventually, I'm sure. But that's fun. It's a cool blue border. That's... I've never seen that before. I like that's new. That's good that you can change their name. It'd be wish it'd be cool if you could change their flag, but what can you do about that? It's a good change anyway. It's a positive one. Exploration! Yeah, that's probably a good start. It's probably a good thing we should start doing again. It's been a while. So we'll get together three of these new light ships. In Yorkshire. And Yes, we'll start organizing <coughs> the rest of the ships in Wessex. You guys get good old Explorer Barry, uh, otherwise known as Talbot. And. Oh! Oh no! I made galleys! Shit! Damn it. No wonder they were so cheap. Shit. <sighs> they're not. They're never going to be useful. Like I was thinking about. Mm, sh are they useful? Should I get some? No. Galleys. If I capture them, sure I'll keep them. But I ain't building them. Right. You can screw off. All right. I still want to start exploring though. So. Oh, okay. Stop. Hammer time. And back off to the English Channel. You can. And you guys head to port. Then I'm going to send you on an exploration mission. Back out to the open wilds. It's been a while. We got a couple of new things. Is that the Cape of Good Hope? It is. Yes. Like, we can start keeping an eye on it. Probably won't be able to go down there, though. Oh! Shit! Okay. Hmm. Oh, we do have an extra colonist available, actually. Ha. Ha. We have two now. Ha. Huh. An intriguing proposition, don't you think? I'm very skeptical. Spe skeptical, yeah, that's the word. <laughs> about it. About our little trip down here. Because it would mean war with uh, the Iberians. Amongst others, of course. But it would mean the Ivory Coast trade node. 
which you can send directly to the English Channel. So it'd be good to have control over that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 it is well worth having a bash on that. Yeah, it's well worth having a bash on that. Alright, that's step that's the next step then. Indeed. Oh no. And the money is all gone. So more loans have to be taken. As is the huge. Ah, I'm so glad we can go colonize Africa. I know, I, I I feel like I like colonial nations a lot and this land is probably more valuable. <laughs> but just being able to have control over your own land is really important to me. So that's why I like Africa so much. And also India. Which isn't really a colonize a colon India isn't really a, you know, colonial conquest. It's more of just a conquest, but it's it's involved with your colonial conquests because you get there through colonization. But enough about India. Let's let's do it with Africa right now, uh, and also Newfoundland. We should probably start colonizing in colonial Canada as well. Move on there, and you need to get on board the hype boat, <laughs> as I will now rename it. Okie dokie. How long until we can repay that shitty, shitty loan? Not long, actually. Next month, we can repay. Good. Hate having loans. I don't know what it gets to me. Oh, God. Castillo. Castilian nobles moved off to the to this coastline and then decided to occupy it. Well done, Castile. I feel like we should just occupy the entirety of the Castilian and Portuguese African conquest. I feel like that's a good plan. Portugal, tell of the triangle trade. Hmm. The question is, war with Portugal or war with Castile? Or actually, war with both. Yes, indeed. France, you... You have grown to distrust us, I know. But how... How much would you be willing to enter a war with Castile? Now, Austria are friendly with us once more. What about... Oh, shit. Aragon's Italian conquest. What about... No, the Ottomans will never accept an alliance. Let me even bother with it. Alright, where's the hype boat? The hype boat is here. The Reformation branches out. I believe that is the birth of reformed religion. It is indeed. Okay. Attach to the boat. And away! Okay, we need to pick a place to start colonizing first. Aha! Perfect. It's an important center of trade, so that's the place to be. Good stuff. Good stuff. The colonization game gets going. Oh, God. Oh, there's Protestant... Uh, Protestants, though. Are they... Wait, why? No. No. Oh, shit. Our... Uh, our funding is low. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> what am I thinking? Why? Guys, we, I, I was on your side. You could very well have continued living a normal life. I would have allowed you to live if you had just stayed where you are. <laughs> Don't know what accent I'm putting on there. Shit, can these boats even make it? That's a very good question. Oh, uh, uh. Will, will Portugal even give me fleet basing rights if I wanted them to? Yeah, they would. Alright, boats can make it then. <laughs> that is a good sign of things. It's gonna put us in the crapper though, as most things end up doing. Holy shot. Portugal, you've just signed your own death warrant. Oh yeah. 
Yep, so, uh, my boats went out to explore the Cape, so. How are you doing down there? Victory! Restrict imports. Extra mercantilism. Which should help our, uh... Which should help our cause. Yes! Yes, you Protestant! Why are you occupying your own territory? Go and occupy places that aren't Protestant. <laughs> you, you bastards. Whatever. I want you to break the country, so I don't care how you do it. It's a silly thing to do, really. The country may break if they occupy more than half your provinces. We can probably go take out that that army right now, but as long as they occupy provinces, they should continue to uh, to grow in terms of their influence. We can also cancel that mercenary now. That missionary. Why do I keep saying mercenary? Oh, we don't want them to take a, a city with a fort because it'll be difficult to breach. So I'm gonna go take them out if I even can. If I can't, then so be it. All right, we begin. We begin our exploits. Holy shit, we're losing money. Holy, holy shit, we're losing lots of money. Okay, back to London we go. No point in sieging up any territory because we don't want to. We want to let them break our country. Well, kind of. Enforce the demands. We do not want the country to break. Because <coughs> you saw what happened to Sweden when that happened. Do not lose 500 freaking population anywhere. And religious unity goes up by 25%. Presumably, once we s we convert, we should be in a good place. Where are we on the time right now? It's over two o'clock. Um. Um. Irm. Irm. I might call it a day soon. Who knows? With the U four. <laughs> Let's, let's see if we can find a good place to set. When the country is next Protestant, the uh, the recording session shall end. Where next? Africa, please. Wherever you want in Africa. We'll gain a little bit of a foothold on Canada, and then Africa all the way. Because I love the Cape. It's a good place to be. If I could, if I if I could support it financially, I would totally be colonizing multiples right now. Oh, so I should start explaining trade companies for those who don't know them. Before I do, though, I want to reduce army maintenance. Just a tad. So, <coughs> trade companies. You can start a trade company in a node and every city that you add to that trade company you you will get less taxes from but you'll get more trade power from and if there are enough provinces in that city uh, sorry if there are enough provinces in that trade company you will gain a merchant from them just like a uh, just like a colony ah look at that that's pretty cool I'll probably do that when it's a bit more, uh, when we're a bit more advanced. Uh oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. They can embargo our rivals for now. It won't take too long. Uh, for that to become a good thing. The Ottomans, this is a slower war than I was expecting between these two. That's you know, it's been a war. It's, I'm assuming they've been at war. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's working. It's it's happening slowly, but surely. Just like our colonization. But um, boom. All right. And how are the Protestants doing? 
Poorly. Very poorly. You know, I feel like sending the rebels to do a, a government's work is probably a bad idea. I'm still hoping Charles will die. Sorry, not Charles, Henry. I'm hoping Henry will die and Charles will take the throne. Uh oh. Gotta be careful with that. Provence will transfer trade power to. Oh! Well, I never. Really, though. No. Uh oh. We won that one. We'll get it sometime. Where are you off? Where are you going? What? What? Are you kidding me? You are seriously joking if that's a serious thing. Alright, we got some more diplo attack. Actually, I reckon I'll end the session off here. I'm starting to get tired. I'm starting to get irritated by a few of these battles. In the next episode, we will continue colonization, continue with the battles against the evil Catholicism, the Pope, and all that. Perhaps we will declare war on the Pope. Perhaps we will occupy. Oh, look, Spain formed. Hello, Spain. That's fine. We can play the two great powers right off next to each other. That's fine with me. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Check out the rest of the series, and I will speak to you probably tomorrow. So I'll speak to you then.